If California wants to continue to be the leader that we have always been, we have to continue the standards that are attracting the jobs and the money here in clean energy. These laws are critically important because they're directly driving economic opportunities for companies like ours. AB 32 has inspired us throughout the state to innovate in ways we never thought possible. When you go to new technology, someone has to install it. Someone has to teach people about it. So there's an incredible number of people involved in getting it to the customer. We're very excited about the future employment opportunities for our uh, electricians in the photovoltaic field, especially to stem the unemployment issues that we're all facing now. The future of the company is, is very bright, and along with the, the growth comes jobs, development, parts. In the worst economy that we've seen since the Great Depression, at the lowest point of it, the only sector that was adding jobs was in clean energy. Not only are we doing something good by cleaning up the air, we're creating jobs here in a very difficult market. In the Coast Guard, I was a damage control man, and so that directly related to my job here. We're finding homes for a lot of individuals that have inherently good technical backgrounds. This is good pain. You learn a lot. It's fun. It's, for me, it's passionate. You know, it's like I enjoy doing what I do. And it's not only solar. It's wind, it's solar, it's wave, it's thermal. Uh, geothermal energy. We are the industry leaders in development and commercialization of alcohol-based fuel cells. You take uh, chemical energy from the fuel cell, except you convert it directly to electricity. It is a battery, but it's a battery that doesn't have to be charged. As a result, a direct result of the air quality requirements, we have developed a hybrid package that actually operates on gasoline. This technology is real. We're moving a 42,000 pound bus down the road pretty quickly. We're stimulating the economy to the fact that we're actually manufacturing these, these, uh, these buses and selling them and we're bringing in money. The bulk of our hybrid drive systems are being used on a daily basis, transporting folks to and from work up in the metro LA area. If you build all the components in America, you're gonna have to make a whole lot of parts and put up a whole lot of towers and put a whole lot of people to work, and not just for a year or two, but for a decade or two. So AB32 definitely has been a key motivation for several of our customers. I'd like to see my business actually go into a more sustainable building direction. I can integrate the actual installation of the solar panels as part of my business. I don't want to just be able to build a building, I want to build an efficient building and a you know, greener building. I think it's a lucrative business. The weatherization is one of those areas that actually is, is increasing and growing and, and gives them some opportunities. You know, I've changed that like four kitchens so far in my rental units. I think if we, we teach our apprentices new ways of uh, being more efficient, uh, different methods and new technology like solar, wind, uh, LED lighting, uh, it'll bring more opportunity for them. The excitement is at an all-time high, not only from the apprentices that we see, because for them a lot of this is brand new, but the excitement of the journeymen, they see it as an opportunity to brush up on their education. We're training as many as we can. There's a waiting list for it and there's jobs coming, so I, I see the two colliding here pretty quick. We took a pretty bold step. I mean, AB 32 means fewer people with asthma and respiratory diseases. It means people who live healthier lives. It also means green jobs that are going to come here and not someplace else. As a Californian, I don't feel comfortable with outsiders, with oil companies from other states coming in here and telling us how clean our air should be. It's our government too. They actually work for us, so they should listen to us. I think as leaders in California, we need to be the, the people out there that lead the, lead the charge.